Hello, I wish you all be quite okay, dear traders. Welcome to another analytical video by Stupid Trading Broker. Uh, today we are gonna analyze Dogecoin in daily time frame. In this chart, as we expected in this resistance area, we saw about a 50% drop in prices, uh, which was able to reach the specified support zone. And after that, uh, a retry formed uh, for this bearish trend greatly reduced the chances that the uh, next bearish trend could cross the support area and uh, the previous floor. Uh, in the continuation of the chart, uh, and, uh, we see uh, that the C wave of the pattern is completed here and after that the continuation of the pattern is being formed. The most important point is that uh, the chart uh, in this time frame, when the bullish pattern is formed, uh, it is about twice the time area of the bullish trend. Uh, but uh, the price could not have a sharp correction and decline. As you can see, uh, it has corrected to about 50% of the total bullish trend and uh, has returned to its uh, volatile trend in uh, this uh, part of the chart uh, we can consider two scenarios uh, according to the uh, pattern we have specified here of course uh, the optimistic scenario is that uh, in this area we have a triangle pattern of the, the end of the E wave, uh, which is likely to have small fluctuations in this area. Uh, after uh, the end of E wave, uh, with the confirmation that uh, for the E wave pattern in this low time frame, uh, which is formed in the E wave itself, uh, we expect the bullish trend to take shape in the chart and uh, after crossing the resistance trend line uh, the most important area for uh, which we can consider this level is 78 percent after that confirmation is issued to continue the upward trend in the long run um, uh, but in the pessimistic scenario uh, we can have a sharp correction in the process that has formed in this uh, area of the chart after that a uh, correction pattern is being formed uh, which can be completed in this area by reaching the time zone according to the structure of the correction waves uh, we expect that after the end of this wave uh, either the uh, bearish trend will uh, start in this same area or it will reach the red resistance zone that we specified as you see and uh, then continue the correction process in the chart uh, this is a relatively pessimistic scenario for the bullish uh, which is very unlikely to happen um, but uh, we have to consider them in the scenarios we have for the waves to advance. Uh, in this area, according to the bullish trend scenario, uh, we expect that the first uh, stage, the price will reach the BD trend line, uh, which extends in uh, this zone. Also, at uh, the same time uh, with the resistance area, uh, we should have a price stop here and after a correction, continue the bullish again. Uh, first, uh, by passing the you know, previous ceiling, this area can be and uh, the level of 78% can reach the previous ceiling area. Uh, in this zone, uh, we can re-examine the chart according to the uh, wave structure. Uh, at the end of the chart, 
the most important thing uh, to look out for this E wave uh, in the low time frame for sure. Uh, we have to see if it can give us a reliable pattern or not. Uh, then we will examine the bullish as a stronger and more definite scenario than other scenarios. I hope this was an effective analyze for you guys. Thanks for watching, follow and subscribe us. Uh, good luck.